What's up, Andrew? Some guy with tools here today to show you the skill saw seven and a quarter true HVL cordless worm drive saw. This is model number SPTH77M11. This is the only cordless saw with worm drive gearing. Skill saw skill was kind enough to send this over for us to test out, take a look at it. So let's get it opened up and we'll see what we got. All right, guys, here we got it. This is the SPTH77M11, the skill saw seven and a quarter cordless worm drive saw with their true HVL. HVL stands for high voltage lithium. It do this was a kit that was sent out to us and included in the kit is obviously the saw, one five amp hour 48 volt battery, a dust port adapter, and the charger. We'll get this out of the way. The dust port, I want to say, I want to start off with that real quickly. One thing that I love about this saw already is you don't have the standard dust shoot on the side of the blade guard. What Skill Saw has done is route the dust through the top handle, and so it's going to exit the opposite side of the saw from where you are looking at the blade and presumably standing to make your cut. They also include this dust port adapter with a thumb screw on the on the band clamp pop that onto the handle and you're able to adapt up to uh, it looks like one and a half or two and a half inch dust hose so that's a great accessory included with the kit as well a couple of key features I want to point out about the saw it does have a magnesium guard magnesium shoe it helps keep the weight down this is an 11.1 .1 pound tool bare without the battery. It has a no load RPM of 5800 and it does use the 13 16th diamond arbor. It has a max depth of 2 and 3 8 inches and a max bevel of 53 degrees. I want to show you up close. What Skill Saw did differently than other circular saws is instead of putting inch, inch and a half, two inches, whatever, on their scale, what they did is they gave you plywood on this side and lumber on this side. And it says right here, this swoop would be marked for two by lumber. Here's one by lumber. And on this side, you've got three quarter plywood. Sorry, that's two by lumber. Here is three quarter ply or one by lumber. Here is half inch ply and here is quarter inch ply. So to set that depth, say you want to cut some half inch ply. You're going to loosen that. You're going to come up. You find that half inch notching come down to the circle boom there is no checking double checking and being sure or unsure of your depth it's super simple if you want to cut two by lumber same thing you're going to loosen that come back down boom two by lumber you're set how awesome is that small little things like that really stand out on this skill saw circular saw you have the large 48 volt HVL battery. It clips right onto the back. As is pretty standard, especially among these rear handle cordless saws, you have a very large rafter hook. It flips out 90 and stops there. That's really nice. I like it a lot. You have your blade wrench down here on the bottom of the shoe. It has a flat side and an angled side at 45 degrees. It makes it real easy to pop onto the arbor. Here is your arbor lock as well as your oil fill for when you need to. Here on the front you got nice large white etched in there numbers easy to read for the bevel scale. Flip the thumb, thumb switch over all the way clear through and I like that it's evenly marked at 53 of the max. A great thing about it is you have this little spring loaded stop and that stops the saw right there at 45 goes straight through to 45 pull that thumb back and you're able to pass it and it'll auto lock back in place for the next time okay guys so that's a quick look here at the skill saw seven and a quarter true HVL cordless worm drive saw again the model number is SPTH77-M11. Now let's put it to some use and let's real quickly see how it can cut. 
We're going to go ahead and make one, two, three, four, five, six cross cuts across a two by ten. Nasty old two by ten that I had laying outside. So let's just uh, let's take a look how it how it handles it. I have no doubts that this will be zero problem for this saw. Let's see how it does. <laughs> I'm pushing as hard as I can and I can't stall this thing out. Let's see, this next one goes straight through a knot. Finally. I was able to stall it out pushing as hard as I can going straight through a knot. You notice how well the dust extraction goes out that handle port? Man, that saw is gorgeous. I. It's going to be hard to come up with a saw that can top that guy. I want to put this guy up against the DeWalt rear handle, the FlexVolt rear handle, the Makita dual battery rear handle, and the Makita, or the Milwaukee rear handle. I want to put it up against those and see how it can do. Or see if any of them can even come close to this. This thing has got more power than I even know what to do with out of a cordless saw. This is... This is awesome.